All right, so in uh, this video, I'm going to start the Stormworks Basic on the Modular Engine. Um, a lot of people on Reddit have been asking and all over the forums uh, for help with modular engines. And so a lot of it is basic issues. So what I want to do with this series, I want to try to do some quick videos. I made one just a second ago that was about an hour long. So let's not make it that long. And we'll try to make short segments um, of each part of the engine so that you can follow along. And if you're struggling with a certain part of engine development, that you can... Um, that you can make that work um, and you can just watch one of the shorter videos to see um, which section you need. So let's start by building a base and this will just be a platform to put it on. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go MOD in the search for modular. All right, so let's look at our, um, I'm actually gonna put this up on a pedestal because we'll, uh, we'll make this, we'll put a prop on this and everything. So I just put a pedestal. We want to start with our module engine crankshaft. Now we have one by ones, three by threes, and five by fives. So let's take a one by one. All right. Now one thing you'll notice about this is you have squares and you have circles. All right. Now all the components have a different shape, and these components match up with those different shapes. So let's take a belt drive. If we look at the belt drive, the belt drive on these has these rectangles on the sides. And if we flip it around, you'll notice it has a circle. The squares are where the cylinder is attached. The circle is where the crankshaft would be. That's why it's a circle. It looks like a crankshaft in there. So you would want to match the circle up at the circle. All right, good. So now let's find a square piece. The next square piece, we're going to make a one-cylinder engine, is going to be our modular uh, engine cylinder one by one. Now if we turn this on, our si on its side, you notice we have a square. The square goes to square. Now this seems very basic, but you see a lot of times people have put that on there. If it's on the circle, circle doesn't, you know, if the circle doesn't fit in a square hole, it doesn't work. So you want to put square on square, circle on circle, and then we'll have rectangle on rectangle. You also, as you can see, we have square with these four holes in it. That's another part. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add a clutch. Now, I take for granted as somebody who drives manual vehicles all the time that a lot of people, you know, some of the people in Stormworks, you know, aren't even old enough to drive, have no idea of what a clutch is. And seeing that a lot of manual vehicles are going away, very few people are probably going to ever have any experience with a manual vehicle. So um, I'll quickly explain a clutch. So again, we want to take the circle part and we want to hook it to the crankshaft. Now, this is color coded. As you can see, if I put something over here, let's put a pipe over here. Now you see in yellow it says power, RPS. All right, so that's telling us that out of this yellow we get power. So the power is going to come out of the engine and go out here, and we can carry that power along with pipes. All right. So let's let's talk about how a clutch works. Real simple. So a reciprocating engine, which is what this is, the piston goes up and down, up and down, and that's transferred to a shaft, hence the crankshaft, that rotates circular. So the piston goes up and down this way, and the shaft turns around this way. Now think of a clutch like two dinner plates. Right On the crankshaft side, you have a dinner plate, and if the engine's spinning, that, that dinner plate's spinning. On this side, which let's say, let's attach a, I'll just put it together really, uh, I'll just, let's say it's a prop, okay, prop. All right, so let's just hook a prop on there for right now. All right, so the engine is spinning, right? So the dinner plate on this side of the clutch is spinning. There's another dinner plate on this side that's attached to the propeller. That's not spinning. The clutch will go from, in Stormworks, from zero to one. That's you applying the clutch. Now you need to increase clutch so that the dinner plate on this side that's spinning starts to touch the dinner plate on this side that's not spinning. Now when you first put them together, they're going to slip. That's called clutch slip. One's going to slip past the other. Well, eventually they're going to stop slipping and they're going to move at the same speed, and that's how you transfer power. It allows you to slowly transfer the power from the engine to whatever you're trying to turn without stalling the engine. If you do it too quick, if you just turn the, you know, if you can use a toggle switch on a clutch and you'll stall your engine right out because it's, you know, it's not going to have enough power to get that going. All right. So let's look at these rectangles next. All right. So there are some things on a modular engine 
they are belt driven. So what we added, that's a modular engine uh, drive belt. All right, so uh, first thing we want to do is let's put a starter on there. That's going to allow us to start our engine. So how, what's this doing? All right, so let's talk about real life, how, how things, things work. So you have your output shaft, or your uh, crankshaft, rather. Your crankshaft will turn this, uh, this pulley wheel here. Now you'll have a pulley go from this pulley wheel down to this one, and this wheel will turn with the engine, and it will turn the starter. Now, the starter actually works backwards. The starter turns and moves the crankshaft of the engine, which then moves the piston that starts the engine. Let's go, we're going to put a pump on here. So again, we want rectangle to go to rectangle. All right. So now the belt here, when the engine is turning, that belt is turning, or this pulley's turning, it turns the belt, which then turns the pump and makes the pump turn. Another thing we want to add on here is an alternator. All right, so we're going to put our alternator on there. So what's an alternator do? Well, this, again, crankshaft turns this pulley. The belt transfers that energy to the alternator. It spins the alternator. It generates electricity. All right. So next thing, let's um, let's quickly connect up a uh, radiator. Let's just do an electric radiator here. Um, we can go over cooling later. Uh, type it correctly, radiator. Okay, let's just do an electric 3x3. Three three. Okay, so that's on there. All right, uh, let's, I gotta move it a little bit here. It's not where I want it. There we go, it's centered now. All right, so let's look at this pump. All right, so this is fluid in, that's fluid out. It really doesn't matter with the setup. So let's just do some pipes. And we're going to connect to one side of this electric radiator. Sometimes the direction matters, but in this case, you can go either way with the um, radiators. And we'll go and we'll pipe it up and over. And we'll put a couple elbows on here. All right, so now when the pump is turning, it's going to take fluid. It's going to go through the pump, through the radiator, which is going to cool the um, fluid back in through the engine. Now, you'll see in some of the older videos people putting tanks on here. Do not put tanks on here. You no longer need tanks on here. The engine supplies itself with coolant. So there's already coolant in the engine. So you don't need any tanks of coolant. All right, so that's connected. Next thing we need to do, let's go back to MOD for modular engine. We're going to need a um, flu uh, fuel manifold. This is going to control how much fuel goes in our engine. So let's um, rotate that up. Then I'm going to take a tank and we'll put a tank on top directly to there. That's going to supply us with diesel. Next thing we want to do is let's go back to MOD for modular. Let's go to air manifold. We'll put that here. Now let me turn that. If you notice, it's a square with four holes, matches to the square with four holes. I know it sounds simple, but you'd be amazed how many people on Reddit or on the forums will ask, you know, why is my engine not working? Well, you don't have the things connected correctly. All right, so now let's do AIR for air filter. Let's just do the air filter. If we have RAMs, it's going to require more complex logic to operate. Put the air filter on. Now, the last thing we need is exhaust. So let's go exhaust. Now, we can use either of these. We can use module engine, exhaust manifold straight, or uh, corner. Let's use the corner one. And again, we want to put the four squares with the four hole of the square with the four holes there. Let's put it there. Let's rotate it up. Now, that's a pipe connection. So we can put one of two things here. We can put a an exhaust on there. We could put a fluid port on there to put exhaust out. We can put pipes so that we make a nice big tall stack and then put an exhaust on there, but you need to have an exhaust on there or you're not going to put any exhaust out in the world. All right, so that's the basics, the basic setup of an engine. All right, next video we'll go into gearing because we're going to want to take our engine and transfer it out to um, something we want to power. All right, so that's the first Stormark's uh, modular engine basics video. Thanks for watching.